what is behind the beauty in Venezuela? This piece was inspired by the freedom that we have as Australians to express ourselves and to live with different cultures peacefully and harmoniously. This is uh, the beautiful Venezuela, the purity that Venezuela represents, the happiness, the colorful. But we also show into our piece what is behind the veil, and what the media have been covering, especially in Venezuela, they control the media. So the whole world doesn't know what's going on in Venezuela at the moment, which is a terrible situation. The idea to do the installation here especially was because it is important to catch the attention to different people. If you are creating an installation, people have stopped asking what is that. We have put them the headphones that they have seen through their eyes and they have asked what is this about. Venezuela and Caracas. This is a place whose murder rate outstrips even Baghdad. And that's part of the reason why today and nearly every other day of the week, thousands of people are marching for the fall of the government. Protest isn't going to stop anytime soon. I get the impression that the students will be back tomorrow. We are students, we don't have armas. Everything is the only thing we have. And this. And we send them to take their phones too, so we don't record all the atrocities that they are doing. We will continue. The fight continues. I don't want to leave this fight, and now less. Over here are pictures of everyone who died in the protest so far. Like Genesis Carmona, who was a Venezuelan beauty queen. Very colorful, vibrant. It gives me a more different connection to it, you know. Yeah. It's not something so separate. Their media channels are being shut down and it's really hard for them to express what's actually going on. So I think this is amazing and it's a great way of showing what's actually happening. So. We uh, created a facade or a face of Venezuela that is very beautiful and very colorful and it celebrates the culture and the nature and, and the animals and the people and and that exists, that, that richness in that culture exists, but the problem that we're facing is that the government wants to only show that that is the only face of Venezuela and that's not the truth. And when you go a bit closer and you put on the headphones and you look through the eyepiece, you'll see the other side of what is actually happening in Venezuela at the moment, which is mostly hidden from the rest of the world, just like it is in this marketplace. Everybody has asked you, oh, what can I do? So we have only given them this paper, SOS Venezuela. And we have told him, take a picture of, the, of yourself, put it in this Twitter and spray the war. Use your creativity and protest. Protest in different ways. Catch attention of different people because more people around the planet know it's more easy to send a petition
tribune and it's more easy to people to sign the petition because they know that we are in a dictatorship.